What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Clockology on your Apple Watch where you guys can get some dope watch faces. So it's probably one of my favorite applications to actually get for my Apple Watch because the stock ones that come with Apple and the ones you get from like the App Store, they're not the greatest looking. They're just very basic. So this one, you guys can get some really advanced just watch faces, which I'm going to show you guys in this video. So before we get started, I do want to say that this doesn't actually turn your watch face into like whatever theme you want. It's actually going to be running through an actual application on your Apple Watch, but it works the exact same thing. Um, I'm going to show you guys everything, what you guys need to do, how um, how to install themes, how to install Clockology. We're going to get all that in this video. So the first thing we're going to be showing you guys is how to install Clockology. So the first thing you want to do is go to your app store and you want to search up the application. It is completely free. So now we're going to install the app real quick. So um, I'm looking down below in the description if you guys can't find it on the App Store. But once you guys do install it, it should automatically install on your Apple Watch. Um, so if it doesn't, what you want to do is open up your watch application. And you want to scroll down. And then you guys can see available app. It's already installing right now onto my Apple Watch. But um, once you guys have installed it onto your Apple Watch, we can open it up on the Apple Watch or through um, our iPhone and we can get the interface right here, basically a welcome page. And um, I've already done this before, but if you're opening it up on your Apple Watch or your iPhone, it should ask you or it should get um, get permission for you to allow access for the health application. So if you wanna be able to get like your heartbeat, your uh, track your steps, all that stuff, you guys can allow access for that. I've already done that before, so I'm not gonna be doing that again, but just wanna let you guys know that will pop up for you guys. So um, from here, we can just click on don't show again. And here's one of the um, themes or the watch faces I've currently been using, which is this Kobe Bryant one. I think this one is pretty dope. This one just is very basic, just shows the time and the percentage of my Apple Watch. But I just love um, how this just plays on my um, Apple Watch every single time I look at it. So um, it is a little bit of a long kind of GIF video. So, but I still think it's pretty dope right there. So there's a bunch of other ones you guys can get. There's like over thousands of ones you can select. Um, from this actual website or this Facebook page where that we're going to be showing you guys in a second here. But once you guys have it installed right here, it is installed now on our Apple Watch. So if you check, it's very similar to the clock application, but there it is right here. That's what it looks like. So now I'm going to be showing you guys some features that you will need to turn on. Um, so you want to go to your watch application on your iPhone. You want to scroll down to the general tab and then basically you want to scroll down again until you see return to clock and then you want to basically set this to the max time you can so for me it's after one hour so basically it's not going to go back to the original clock um, which is this one right here so that's why we want, to, we want to set to the max amount and then one thing to note if you're on a series 5 or series 6 and you have the always on display toggled on you will need to turn that off for this to work so it's only for the series 5 and series 6 um, I believe I have like the SC Sports Edition, so I don't have that feature. But to turn it off, if you're on one of those two Apple Watches, is go to your watch application, go to display and brightness. And then in this section right here, you should see an always on display uh, section. Like I said, I don't have it because I don't have the 5 or Series 6. So make sure you guys have that feature turned off. So from here, what you guys want to do is I'm going to show you guys how to like sync uh, themes and stuff like that. So we need to install something called um, the enabled beta dot clock so to do that you actually need to um, go onto the, your facebook account so you will need a facebook account for this so i'm going to load it up right now i've been testing some out right here and we can go back so what you want to do is go to your search page right here search for clockology fans and go to this group right here over 400,000 people are in this group so it's very active um, there's always a bunch of new watch pages being uploaded every single day in this group so um that's what I love about it. Just It's always active at all times. So what we're going to do now is um, you can scroll through, look for themes you want. But like I said, we need to install something called the uh, enabled beta. So go to the search tab right here and just search up enabled beta file. So there it is. So uh, a lot of people are going to be posting it. Um, so just look for the link. So I'm just going to click on this one right here. So you want to download it. So if it says not found, we'll, we'll click on another one. Uh, there's one right here and if you actually down through um, the Facebook page it's not gonna work for you guys so you need to click on three little dots open your browser so your Safari browser and then download it through here so you just tap on the download button once you guys have done that 
you want to go to your Clockology application and it should automatically pop up just like this. So from here, you want to tap on it. It's going to ask you um, in beta mode, the Apple Watch will show the clocks made for the iPhone app. So it's going to ask you to open up the Clockology app on your Apple Watch to change the sync mode. So let's open it up right now, right here, open up the app. And there we have it. So it says beta unlock. So it's fully been synced. So here are the ones that come with the application. So these, these are just previews. So you guys can literally just slide and see some example ones, which are, they are pretty cool to be honest with you guys, but there are better ones you guys can get. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to in actually install um, other watch faces now. So from here, we can just slide down. And let's go back to the Facebook page. So if you want to install whatever theme you guys want, so um, you guys, like I said, you guys can scroll through the page or you guys can search for a specific one. So um, I was testing a Gucci watch. So if you want a Gucci watch face, you guys can do that. And there are tons and tons of um, options that people have posted on this website or this group page right here. So let's find one that looks pretty cool. So this one looks pretty dope right here. So click this and then most of them will post a download link as well as like um, if you want to support them, like donate them, uh, you guys can do that from here. Dropbox, I'm going to obviously open it up in my browser so I can install it or download it. Continue and then download, direct download and download again. Once it is finished, we can now go back to our Clockology application and now there it is. So here's a little preview of what it will look like on our Apple Watch. I think this one's pretty dope. So to actually sync it, all you guys have to do is tap and hold on to it. And then you get this new option called the Watch Sync. And then we can repeat clocks and then we can now sync. So it may take a while depending on what type of watch you guys are trying to get or watch face you guys are trying to install, but just give it a couple seconds. So now it said um, it is finished syncing everything. So now it says Apple Watch Responder because I do have it on my um, wrist right now. So we can now go to my Apple Watch right here. And you guys will be able to see there is the Rolex um, watch face that we've just installed. So there isn't other options we can do right here. So if we tap on and hold on to it. You guys have the option to stop, stay alive, or you guys can enable that. And there's an option, option check. So now what we can actually do is tap and hold on to it here and you have the option to the uh, stay alive mode. So if you want to enable that or disable that, you have the option to do that. And there's actually another options right here. If you don't want to accidentally swipe to one of the other themes that come with this or the ones you previ previously installed, you guys can turn on this swipe to lock. So you know when we swipe through the uh, Apple Watch to see the other themes, we can lock it through here instead. So there you guys have it right here. There is the Rolex on my Apple Watch. I think this is pretty dope. So you guys see, if I turn it away and then look at it again, it's going to automatically turn back on. We can see the time, all that stuff there. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. That's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.